Hello, hello, welcome back to Make Studios. I'm gonna show you how to use the diffusers today. Start a new project, new composition. Change your height and width to whatever you want. I'm gonna make it 512 by 512. I'll show you why in a second. Come to Layer New, Solid, name it. And then come up to Effect, Deep Make AI Plugin Renderer. Now come to your effects controls, you'll see this plugin pop up, select diffusers, and then select a plugin. So we'll generate an image first, and you'll see that there are height and width settings. It can do any height and width. I left it at 512. Iterations, sort of like the quality that you create, the rendering. So if you start at one, it'll render it quick, but it won't be a full render, 20 is. Now the seed is how you change the generation of your image without changing the prompt. So it's sort of like the randomness. It starts at zero and then you can change it to whatever you want. Once you're happy with your settings, you can come and you can click on your prompt. Think of AI as a child, it's very literal. So we're gonna start off with horse, something simple, but using descriptions and commas really helps. See the horse appeared. Now, if we wanted to get a different image generated without changing the prompt, we would change the seed. Now let's try three, see what it gives us. So it gave us a new image, but it gave us a horse with a person on it, which I don't want. So let's try a new seed. Let's try um, 12. So horse is a little funky looking, but I like it. Let's stick with this. Now let's use image to image generation to change this to something else. Come to effect deep make AI plugin render again. It'll create a new one on the same layer. Make sure your layer is selected. Now you're gonna come to select a plugin, come to diffusers again. Instead of generate image, you're gonna to come to refine image here. Now you'll see the same exact settings and they are all the same seed, iterations, height, and width, except for this one strength, which goes from zero to one, which is essentially the percentage of your image that will stay the same. So we're gonna change it to 0.5, right? Because that's like 50%, it'll stay the same. So let's see what we get with a prompt. Let's change it to a zebra and see what we get. Boom, look at that. So the image didn't change at all, really. The composition stayed the same and it just became a zebra. Pretty cool. So this works with your own images. If you upload them that are not generated, obviously you have to keep the height and width the same and then it can change that to whatever you want. Hopefully this was helpful. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.